Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery. We're here at opening day at the ATA Show 2020 in Indianapolis. We're of course here in the Matthews booth. I'm here with Levi Morgan, Lee Lukoski, and guys, we're talking about the VXR series, the new bow that came out this year. Lee, uh, just a quick impression first. Tell me about your experiences with the VXR this year. Oh, it's, it's been it's been great. Like always, we say it every year, but you know, you don't you, you wonder how you can get them smoother, you know, and stay that fast and that quiet. But this is I say it every year, but it's been my favorite my favorite bow and my season uh, proves the accuracy and, and everything I've had my best season ever. And uh, you know, it's you, you say it every year that how how quiet they are. You don't know how they can improve it, but here, you know, on the on the VXR, I like the 28 inch. That's like my favorite axle to axle length, even though. Most people think that's a little bit short. It's more for me, just maneuverability and blinds and you know, putting it on your back when you're out west and, and things like that. But, you know, the riser's a little bit longer, and, you know, so it's got a little bit, you know, it's a little bit more stable, and, you know, that's how they get a little bit even quieter and a little bit more, um, you know, for me, more accurate. I shoot this, this bow as accurate as anything I've ever shot. Levi, how about you? Yeah, same thing. You know, I, all the things Lee talked about is, is you know, a must-have in our world and uh, the SCS system the silent connect system was huge this year wasn't clinging carabiners around trying to clip my bow in uh, for pull-up ropes or slings uh, just was awesome and I shoot the 31 and a half yeah. uh, but you know what I really found with this bow was the durability was unbelievable for me from you know I set it up early August maybe even late July and honestly, I feel like I might have clicked the sight two or three times all season long. And I think it has a lot to do with the, the more stiff riser and, and just the stable platform. Just nothing was moving on this thing. And it was incredible for my confidence to take it out of the case after going hunt after hunt. And it always hits the middle. So, uh, And you put some beating on it. I mean, you were hunting doll sheep and yeah. getting into some nasty places. Yeah, I mean, I, and I'm not easy on stuff. You know, when I start, when I see an animal I want, I forget about everything else, and it's dragging it through whatever I got to get to to get there. So I was super impressed with it. Super accurate, durable, the SCS system, everything was, was really incredible this year. So, Lee, let's talk about you got the new limb legs on there. Uh, tell us about that, how it works, and what you like about it. Yeah, they're, they're great. They're super light. I mean, they weigh like nothing, and they, you know, they just come off, and they're for the amount of times that we hunt in ground blinds and things like that, and in like years like this when it's just so wet and so muddy like we have them like ground blinds and cornfields everything muddy on the bottom you don't want to get mud jammed into your into your cams and things they just slip right on and uh and off on that and so when you set it on the ground you know nothing touches it's just that the legs on that you're not not your uh not your limbs not your cams nothing and you can shoot with it on there i mean and it weighs nothing so if you're in a ground blind you know pick it up shoot you know, so it's it, it's been great for things like that. And even some of the Western hunts, you know, if you're sitting on a, a bedded buck or something like that, it's nice just to have it up and ready. You can just sit in there waiting for him to stand up. You're not, you know, you don't have as much movement. You just pick it up and you're drawn, you know. So it, the, difference, right the difference from the limb legs in that it doesn't actually touch the limbs, all the contact right, exactly. points. Exactly. That's why you can shoot with it on there. The contact points, it never touches a limb. You know, that's one thing you don't want is, you know, just same as a rifle, you don't want anything touching the barrel, you don't want it, anything touching your limb. So it's just, the only contact points are just on the, on the bracket there. So it doesn't touch any of the limbs, and so you can shoot with, it's just the exact same with them as without them on there. Uh, Levi, you were talking about the riser, uh, mm -hmm. that it is a stiffer design, but they've also made more cutouts in it to make right, it yeah. lighter. So right, how yeah. do those work together? Well, I mean, obviously you're trying to keep a bow as light as possible, especially for me. I, I love a light platform to start because I like putting the weight where I want it. You know, uh, I like to balance it the way I want it without getting a 12 pound, you know, anchor that I'm carrying around. So yeah, that was awesome. And the, to be, the, the stiffer riser is super important because in heat, different temperatures and flexing and as much as we're in and out of cases, I mean, we've obviously, I've had bows in the past, that just all of a sudden the tune went south. And you check in the risers, man. And we used to tune bows way back in the day by bending them over our knee, you know. And so <laughs> that's not good, you know. So with this stiff, new stiffer, it's the stiffest riser I've ever seen. I mean, it's unbelievably durable and just stays where you put it. And and they obviously cut a lot of stuff out to make it lighter. But um, on, honestly, I don't know how they're going to make it better. I know we say that every year. But I told Brad, I, I walked straight over to him. I said, dude, I, 
this is the best hunting bow I've ever shot. I said, I love it. Don't send me a new one next year. So, <laughs> Well, Lee, one of, the things I I, one of the things I wanted to talk about was you like the 28 inches, mm -hmm. and there are guys out there who just think, ah, that's too short. But talk about how it works for you and how you make it work. Right. And well, even though it's 28 axle, actually look how big the cam is and that comes around, you know, your string angle is not as sharp as you would think. So it's almost more like a 30 or 32 on that. So even for me, it's, it's, but it's what you get used to. I mean, I used to, I tip my head down just a little bit, touch my nose on the string where if I, you know, shot a 32, I can get a little bit more upright. But I'm so used to it with my head down, I'm actually more used to that than, than upright. So it's more comfortable for me and just, I like when I throw that on my pack when we're out west and stuff. I, when I sit down, the cams don't touch the ground and, and get in the mud or your arrows or stuff to get in there. So I really like that size and, and for like ground blinds and, and even tree stands and stuff too. That it just smaller to me and lighter is, you know, just kind of what I've gotten used to. And, and, and what's like. your draw length? It's like 30. Okay, so you have the, the draw length because everybody always says, oh, if your draw length is longer than the bow axle to axle, then that's a problem, but it's not. No, because like I said, I think with the bigger cam, when that rotates around, it's actually a lot less string angle than, than you'd think on a 28 yeah, yeah. inch axle to axle. And, and like I said, I, you know, it's just like what Levi was saying, it, it's been the most accurate bow they've had because normally when you, like I said, you set them up in August and then you get through, you go to high altitudes and, you know, cold and snow, it can be, you know, in, in September and stuff, you can be snowing and stuff up in the Yukon and wet and then you come back home and it's hot and, and all the temperature changes. I never had to move my sight through the entire year. And it's funny to even just like after the gun season, you know, because if I go two weeks without hunting and so that bow is just kind of sitting in there and you're kind of, okay, I'm going to go out hunting again. So I better shoot this thing. We're shooting it at, you know, 50s and 60s and just bang, bang, bang right in. I was like, oh man, I don't have to adjust anything on it. And it's like probably... You know, one of the first times ever, like you said, you set it up in August, and it's the first time ever I didn't change a single thing all year. You know, you, a lot of times I'll come back from out west and you just shoot a, you know, an unfletched arrow, just shoot one through paper and just like a 22 hole through that. I was like, well, I guess it's, everything's still good. And that's, that's very it's seldom that that happens, that you get, yeah. you know, going through the whole western run and come back and having it just perfectly tuned still. Which grip do you shoot on there, Levi? I shoot the side plates, so I took this off, put the side plates on, and then I actually took a little piece of like tread tape. I didn't even wrap it or anything. I put the side plates and, and, and ran with it. Um, so talk about for years, you know, you shooting the different bows, what it means to be able, you're not just taking the grip off and you're dealing with that. Right. unfinished riser right. it's set for that yeah and and so like my whole life i've always had super long draw links even when i was a kid so i would have to take grips off of every bow to get to my draw link pretty much um and so i was used to sitting off that square shelf so having this finished you know grip even underneath this it was huge so i can throw side plates on super comfortable it's not that sharp edge on my hand right. um you know and it just allows me to really not even think about that at full draw and and that was a huge deal. I love the grip on this bow. Uh, the angle, everything is just super yeah. comfortable at full draw. Which one do you shoot, Lee? Just one, same one, right? That's on here right now, right out of the. Box. You stay with the engage. Yep, yep. I mean, the new, like I said, one thing came to this new one with the angles and everything. It's perfectly comfortable for me. It's, it's, it's. I shoot the right out of the box, just like that. All right. Well, that is the new VXR series from Matthews. It's been out for a while, but now we're really spreading it out at the ATA show. Levi Morgan, Lee Lukoski, we appreciate your time, guys. Uh, if you got any quest, if you like this video, give us thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LangsterArchery.com.